welcome to the Granny Square series. This week you can learn how to make this lovely little square. And uh, I'm going to be using this colour, the Moonstone from the Stonewash range for the demo using a 4mm hook. So let's get started. To begin, we're making a double magic circle. And chain one. Into the double magic circle, we are going to make 12 US doubles UK treble. So I, we've already chained one. I'm then going to make a US single UK double and chain one. That counts as the first stitch. We're then going to yarn over, go in, pull through three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to make 10 more stitches. You can press pause if you're making along and I'll see you at the end of the round. So when you've made your 12 stitches, we're then going to pull the circle tight. So pull on the tail, see which loop started to tighten and pull on that loop. Pull till you close your circle and then pull the tail. Yeah. And we're going to slip stitch across that starting stitch and into the first full stitch. And that slip stitch now counts as the top of that stitch. Yeah, so we're going to chain one. And that's how your work should look at the end of round one. For round two, we're going to chain. The second time, so we've got two chains and we're going to make into that first stitch a three stitch cluster using US doubles, UK trebles, three of them, yeah? So we start the stitch but don't finish the stitch. And then when we've started three stitches, we should have four loops on the hook going to yarn over, pull through all loops and chain two. We're then going to make another three stitch cluster into that same space. So I haven't got much slack, it's making it difficult. And then yarn over and pull through all four loops. Chain two. We're going to skip two stitches. One, two. And into the third one, we're going to repeat. We're going to make a cluster, chain two, and then a cluster. So these chain two spaces between the clusters are now our corners. Yeah, and then we're going to chain two. And we're going to repeat. So we're going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch. Same thing, we're going to make a cluster chain two and then another cluster. If you're making along, you can press pause and I'll see you at the end of the round. So when you get back to the beginning, you'll have chain two and then we're going to slip stitch into the first cluster to join. I like to go into the front of them. I'm going to ignore that chain that we made and just go into the front of those cluster stitches into the uh, chain space, pull through and then slip stitch into the chain two space, chain one. And that's how your work should look at the end of round two. So for round three, we're gonna chain 
a second time so we've now got chain two chains and we're going to make a three stitch cluster into that corner chain two and we're going to make another three stitch cluster into the corner chain two and we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space chain two and we're at the next corner so we're going to make a cluster chain two and another cluster chain two we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space and chain two and we're at the next corner so we're going to repeat we're going to make a cluster chain two cluster into the corner and then we'll slip stitch chain two and we'll be at the last corner so you can press pause if you're making along and i'll see you at the end of the round So when we get back to that first corner, we finish on a chain two, we're going to slip stitch into uh, our first cluster, ignoring the chain that we used to begin. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space. So we're back at the corner, chain one. And that's how your work should look at the end of uh, round three. So you'll notice it is kind of bowling a little bit. Once we do the next round, it will um, pull it into place and also once it's been blocked. But if you find it's pulling too much, you can always add a chain space in the corners or you could, instead of doing a slip stitch, you could make a US single UK double there. So play around with it, but wait until you get to the fourth round to see if it all fits, yeah? So round four, we're going to make a US single, UK double and chain one. That counts as our first stitch. Chain two to make the corner. We're then going to make two stitches into the corner. US doubles, UK trebles, that's all the stitches now for this last round will be US doubles, UK trebles. We're then going to make a stitch into the top of that cluster. And we're going to make two stitches into the chain two space. Chain one and into the next chain two, uh, yeah, into the next chain two space, two stitches. One stitch into the cluster. Two stitches into the corner. And chain two. So that's our first edge. And we're now going to go along the next edge. Yeah, so we do this one together. We're going to make two stitches into the corner. We're going to make one stitch into the cluster. two stitches into the chain two space
and chain one. We're then going to make two stitches into the next chain two space. One stitch into the cluster. And we're at the next corner. So we're going to do two stitches, chain two, two stitches. How your work should look so far. Yeah, we can see that square taking shape. So if you're making along, you can press pause and repeat, go all the way around. Yeah, and I'll see you back at the first corner. So when we get to the end of the round, we'll have done those two stitches in the chain two space, a stitch in the cluster, and then we're at the corner. We're going to make that one more stitch into the corner and then slip stitch into the chain space and we're finished so you will want to block it yeah and to join it with the other squares in the series yeah when you do your round of us singles in your drawing you will need to do two in this chain space on the edge, yes? So two in there, two in there, and then one along each stitch. And uh, in the corners, it's the same as all of these. One stitch, chain two, one stitch. So I'll see you in the next video.